we all know that in the networking we if uh, we are doing some sort of data communication between two nodes or two computers so we have to uh, so we, what we have to do is uh, we have to use the tcp ip protocol there are two uh, model right A, one is tcp ip model another is uh, uh, open system interconnection model that is osi model and in these two model so first one this osi is the reference model which has seven layers uh, which starting from the physical layer then data link layer network layer transport layer session layer presentation layer and application layer and uh, in uh, the tcp ip protocol the application layer presentation layer and session layer will be merged together and become a application layer and we have five layers all together is starting from the physical layer data link layer then network layer transport layer and application layer and in today's world in the internet world or in the data transmission in the lan and in the wan uh, we use actually tcp ip protocol which is a widely used protocol in the internet uh, world and to have that particular thing in mind uh, this uh, ieee association has uh, uh, coming up with, with a project which is called uh, project 802 and in this 802 project they have uh, standardized different lan and man related protocol so we have different uh, protocol which are related to local area network which are related related to wide area network and all these protocol are standardized so see there are research which is going which is uh, going on is still going on and there were research which was taken care by individual scientist or it might be uh, the in the collaboration with the company so they have uh, come up with different type of standards now if we we'll start with 802.1 it is the higher layer, higher uh, layer lan protocol so 802.1 is basic protocol for local area network then 802.2 is for link layer control that is uh, the see the data link layer is divided into two part link layer control and uh, mac protocol mac uh, layer and uh, so 802.2 uh, is for that particular sub layer which is the part of data link layer then 802.3 is dealing with the ethernet so the the wired ethernet that we are using is uh, dealing with that then we have 802.4 it is dealing with the token bus 802.5 is token ring in the mac layer then 802.6 is for man that is uh, metro uh, metropolitan area network then we have 802.7 is broad uh, uh, broadband lan using coaxial cable then 802.8 is the standard for fiber optic uh, tag 802.9 is for the integrated service lan 802.10 is for the interoperable uh, lan security then 802.11 which is very widely used wireless lan that is wireless local area network it is also a mesh network and it is the certification of wifi that we are using like when we connect the access point uh, with our computer or with our mobile phone so we are using 802.11 which is a uh, wireless lan or wifi certification protocol then we have 802.12 is tan based vg cable 802.13 is unused 802.14 is cable modern then 802.15 is wireless pen that is wireless personal area network so we are uh, 802.15 uh, uh, onwards we are moving towards the low power network or low power devices so 802.15 has is the standard for wireless personal area network and under this we have many other standard like uh, 15.1 15.2 15.3 
15.1 is actually for the Bluetooth that we are using for the uh, communication of two devices. Then 802.15.2 uh, uh, is for 802.15 and uh, that is 802.11 coexistence means there is a uh, 802.15 and 802.11 uh, has been actually almost the same, but it is for the uh, non-constraint devices and this is for the constraint devices, but both are for the local area network, wireless local area network communication. Then uh, 15.4 is for the high rate wireless personal area network, or it is also used in ultra wide band um, frequency for communication. Then we have 802.15.4 This is for low power wireless pen and that we are actually going to learn in, in uh, today's class. So this standard is uh, for the low rate wireless uh, pen, which is the wireless personal area network. And here we are talking about the low rate means we are not bothering about the high data communication. We are bothering about uh, in the IoT devices like it is sending the temperature or pressure or these small data if any device want to communicate it use this particular tech and this particular uh, standard uh, topology 802.15.4 then 5 6 7 and then we have around uh, 0.27 where we have a network so all these are different different uh, uh, standard which is which is used right now uh, we are bothering about 802.15.4, which is a standard for low rate wireless personal area network. Here we have different protocol like Zigbee, Wireless Heart, uh, uh, MeeWee. So we are going to learn some of the uh, popular uh, protocol in this particular category, which is dedicated for low power sensor nodes or low power uh, IoT devices. These are the list of communication protocol that we are going to learn. That is, I, first we'll see IEEE 802.15.4 standard. Then inside that we have many other standard, which is based on 802.15.4. It is Zigbee, Six Flow Pan, Wireless Hard, Z-Wave. Then we have the Bluetooth technology, which is quite different than 802.15.4. Then we have NFC again, which is also different. And RFID, which is also different than 802.15.4. So only four protocol is there, which is based on 802.15.4. That is Zigbee, Six Flow Pan, Wireless Heart, and Z-Wave. Bluetooth, NFC, and RFID are very uh, widely used commercial uh, communication protocol for low power devices that we'll see one by one. 